We're looking at how to enter degrees and minutes on a calculator and this is in reference to our Maths Buddy video number 4258, 4258 called Degrees and Minutes 1, that's for my Year 2 students. Okay, so the instructions there for calculator don't work on the Windows calculator. So that's what we're looking at here. If you're using the Windows calculator in your computer, you want to do it a different way. So first of all, look at the view menu and check that you have got a dot there by scientific. If you haven't, you're going to need to move the dot till it looks like that. Okay, that's the standard. It hasn't got as many buttons that's the scientific. Okay, then forget about everything else you're doing with your degrees and minutes first, you need to get them sorted. So even though 32.17 doesn't normally mean 32 degrees in 17 minutes, we have to start by entering that 32.17. One seven. Then we tell the calculator what we really meant, and we haven't got a degrees button at the moment. We've got DMS, but after we go INV or inverse, then we have a degrees button. Okay, click that, and now it knows what we're talking about is degrees. Now we get the sign of it by clicking our sign button, and now we do our multiplying. So. We've got this little asterisk for a time symbol here and 28 equals. And now we have, with a lot more decimal figures, the same answer that you will see in the worked example on Maths Buddy. So if it had been COS or anything else, we would have just clicked the COS button instead of the sign button. But first, something that looks like a decimal isn't really, then you tell the computer with inverse and degrees that you really mean degrees and minutes, then you click the function sine or cos or tan, and then you do any multiplying last of all. I hope that helps.